first match of the day for Recurve Sunday is for the women's team bronze medal. And it's between China and Chinese Taipei. As the Chinese women make their way to the stage, we're going to see three very talented athletes going for bronze today. Cao Hui, Lan Lu, and Zheng Dan on the Chinese side. And they had quite a run to come into it, too. And, and you know, Vanessa, you and I were talking off camera as we take a look at these archers from China. What was interesting, and the only time that this has happened this week in competition, is that we actually have the first, second, third, and fourth place qualifiers that have made it to the final rounds. And that's really exciting to see. We're seeing the best archers in the world competing for these medals right now. And now coming to the stage, Chinese Taipei. And shooting for Chinese Taipei is Lin Yu Xuan, Lin Shi Chia, and Tan Ya Ting. It's a very young team, but Tan Ya Ting, she's going to lead this team. She's extremely uh, experienced, and I'm excited to see how they shoot today. So this is unique. You know, a lot of people think that archery is an individual sport, and it is later on today. But right now, it's all about the team. So, Vanessa, tell us a little bit about the format. How does the team shoot work? Yeah, so each team will shoot three arrows at a time and then they will alternate. Um, they will shoot a total of six arrows for one set. The first team to uh, five set points wins and you get set points by uh, shooting the highest score each end. All right, so athletes will now, uh, these teams, they've been able to practice together during this week, if not at home. It really depends on where the athlete lives and what the organization or the, the structure of, of the country's archery program looks like. But they've had a chance to decide what order they're going to shoot in. Important, you think? Very important. And you know, for an environment like this, when you're at the finals, the world championships, you want to have confidence in yourself, but you want to have trust in your teammates. So we're getting ready for our first arrows. This is recurve archery. If you joined us yesterday, compound archery. It's a bow and it's an arrow, but it's a lot different. This is more what you see. It's exactly what you see in the Olympics. So Chinese Taipei will start off. The target 70 meters downrange. That's nearly 77 yards if you're from the States. Ten Ya Ting's angle for the team. So a nine to start off with. Now what they're shooting at is a 122 centimeter target. That's 70, yard, 70 meters downrange. And the 10 ring itself is only 12.2 centimeters in diameter. It's about the size of a grapefruit at 70 meters. Oh, 10. Nice. Fantastic shot. Outstanding shot. You'll notice left part of your screen as well. 120 seconds to execute all six shots. So athletes have to step off and on the line. And after this third shot, the athlete has to step off the line. Their clock will stop. Oof. That's a 10-9 liner right there. Initially, World Archery is calling it a 10. Now, if you're new and you're watching archery for the first time, this is team competition. But what's universal is, is every time we shoot a set of arrows, in this case six, we go down and retrieve those arrows, it's called an end. Good start. Fantastic start for China. They often call the first archer the anchor and or, or the windsock. They're just going to aim right in the middle, <laughs> and they'll tell you where the, aim, the wind is going. Oh, dropped it right down below. Yeah, eight, nine liner. It looks eight, nine liner. Eight. Oh, high seven from John. That was a big surprise there. Let's see what Tanya Ting does. Nice, confident shot. Okay. In the same spot, though. Yeah. Don't so know if that's when we, we have the ability, just like those archers, to check out, and the coaches that are in the coaches box, to look at those wind socks. You can see she's making some adjustments to her sight there. Yep. Yeah. 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 Another good shot. Fantastic. They're all off to the left a little bit. I wonder if their coach is going to tell them something. You know, we saw this yesterday in the compound shooting too, is that a lot of those arrows in the afternoon, especially were falling to the left. Could be the fact of just how our temporary stadium is built here in the Zocco. Okay. Another one to the left. But a good score to start off from Chinese Taipei. 57. So 57. Still 30 points available for China. Even with three tens, China's gonna be behind by two points.
So that would mean, though, that we already know that the set goes to Chinese Taipei. That's right. In set scoring. So Vanessa talked about it at the top of the broadcast. Good, solid 10. That's, that's what China needs. Even though they've already lost the set, I mean, it's good for confidence. And they want to keep shooting the arrows so that they can be more familiar with the venue here. Set win means two points. Ties puts them 1-1. One, one. Another 10. Much better shot, considering that last shot was a 7. So Chinese Taipei out to the lead early. Two set points. If they tie and score on one of these ends, then they split the points 1-1. One, one. First one to five. Gets bronze. So it's been a while. Uh, China's been actually very dominant. They used to be dominant about five, ten years ago. Um, but it's cool so to see them one, at this stage again um, and ten, doing well. 10, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7. We're looking at our slow mo shots from World Archery as we look at some of the equipment. If you're a shooter and you're shooting back home, maybe at your local, you know, your local range, your local shop, and you may just have a, a bare bow recurve bow. Let's talk about the difference between just, you know, a bow and what these athletes are shooting here. So one of the most frequently asked questions, other than can you shoot an apple off my head, is <laughs> what are those things hanging off the bow, like the big long dangling things, and we call them stabilizers. Basically, what they do is two main things: they put the weight away from your hand so it's going to make your shot a lot steadier uh, the second thing is they also minimize vibration after you let go of the string there's a lot of vibration going through your bow and they're going to try and dampen that as much as possible great and we'll see that again in some of the slow-mo shots as we get through this match so china getting together and it's all about team spirit it's all about communication as well in team rounds exactly you, know, you talk about the first archer being the windsock and they're the ones who are going to basically have they have the sacrificial shot Yep. Okay. They're going to turn around and communicate with the team. The coach also behind them in the coach's box there to give them some feedback and some information as well. So here's so. Tao He. Let's see how she can uh, help her team out and get a, hopefully get a good start. With China being back in points, that team leads off the end. How we off to the left. Hey, felt like she held a little bit long there, but we'll have to see if uh, her other shots are like that. Ban Lu. Yeah, still, still off to the left. Yep. You know, looking at the wind socks right now, the interesting thing about this field of play, we have wind socks on each side of the range and oftentimes they're different. Okay, so that was our first one that we've seen that's on the right side of the target. So 899 to start off for the People's Republic of China. Against a team like Chinese Taipei, you're gonna have to start shooting tens. There we go. Nice shot. Wow. Fantastic. I feel like those side adjustments that Tanya Ting made are, are crucial. Once again, the distance for recurve, 70 meters downrange. That 10 ring only 12.2 centimeters, or 4.8 inches if you're from the States. Okay. Nine, good solid, good solid nine. You want to at least, in these rounds, keep it in the yellow. That's exactly. like goal number one is mm -hmm. to keep it in the yellow. Stabilizer rods, a good shot sitting off the front and the sides. Oh, beautiful shot. I love that shot right there. She just looked confident, smooth. There wasn't any hesitation with it. And those smiles in team competition, you know, high five smiles, it's infectious. And it really helps the team out. Because, you know, when you have a two set to zero lead, like Chinese Taipei has, and you've seen what's going on with China, just like that, another oh, eight. Right. Left. Cao Wei just hasn't been able to just find her particular rhythm yet. But when you have that lead as Chinese Taipei, sometimes if your team doesn't keep you loose, you can get tight. There it is. Oh, nice Beautiful. Shot. Into that X ring. Interesting. Did you see Zhang Dan's bum there? Yeah. She was actually just. Bending it a little bit, which I've actually never really seen. And, really and that threw a seven. Yeah. So maybe just a little bit of a mental error there. She looked a little flustered by it. Yeah. 
That yeah. looked confident. Wow. I mean, Chinese Taipei putting on a clinic right now. You wouldn't expect anything less from a veteran archer like Tanya Ting. Only 23, but we can call her a veteran <laughs> because she is so good. <laughs> she is good. Ranked sixth in the world, Tanya Ting. Oh, wow. And another next. Unbelievable. Good shot of the archer's stance. And how they keep that bow off the ground. She has a very square stance to the target. And a solid in the yellow. That'll so, do. That's it. Four sets to zero for Chinese Taipei as they take a 58 to 51 win in that end. Now there's four ends scheduled, but whoever gets the five first, and the way this looking like for Chinese Taipei and China, Chinese Taipei in command of this match with a 4-0 lead. So the situation right now is pretty simple to understand. If China can win right, it'll go two to four. If there's a tie, Chinese Taipei will win because they'll split 1-1. And of course, if Chinese Taipei wins, they win six, nothing, and the bronze medal is on the line. Some great slow-mo shots there. Um, another question that we get asked pretty frequently is, why do the bows swing like that? That's actually because we're not hanging onto the bow. We're not gripping it. We're, the bow is staying in our hand because when we draw back, that, the weight of our limbs is keeping the bow in our hands. And when we let go of that, all the force is going directly towards the target, is directing the arrow towards the target, and gravity then takes over and swings the bow like that. Great tip. So if you're inspired, you've never shot before, and you're inspired to go down to your local archery range, archery shop, and get on a bow, that's a good tip. Make sure you have a sling first, or else your bow is just going to keep going towards the target and right. not swing. Unless you have unbelievable timing the first time you shoot and try to grab it. But yeah, because yeah, you are pulling that bow apart, and so it has a nice enough force on the inside side of your hand to stay still. All right, I like the team. I like the team mm -hmm. camaraderie here. Let's do or die here. We need to win this set. That's right. All's on the line for China for the bronze medal. Can they stay in it? This is the good thing about set scoring, is that even though it's 4 nothing, if China can win these next two sets, we're going to go to a, a shoot-off, a tiebreaker. So here we go. This first arrow could really set the tone Definitely. for the rest of this end. Definitely get some momentum with a good first shot. <laughs> good time. Beautiful. Yeah, nice shot. Cheers from her teammates. See a little bit of a smile there. Yep. See Lan Lu. Can Lan Lu capitalize on the energy being produced by China right now? Good timing. Oh. I mean, it looked like such a good shot. It did look like a good shot. So it's not over yet by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, in the nine ring, keeping it in the gold. 27, not a bad way to start off. Not Normally, but the way Chinese Taipei has yeah. been shooting right now. They dropped three points in the first set, two points in the next set. Okay. Yep. Really so. I love that shot of her eyes just focusing on the target. She didn't even flinch. So the, another nine will tie things up here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for the moment, with three arrows left to shoot, China has the lead. That's right. Let's see if they can capitalize on this opportunity right now. She do what she did just moments ago on her first arrow of set three. Nine. Solid. Yeah, look at the arrows. It's, it's just all slightly to the left. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. an eight. Two in a row in this set for China. Understand, she just has a slightly open stance there. Some people think it adds some stability. 
52. Big opportunity for China here. They just couldn't capitalize on it, unless disaster for Chinese Taipei. They've got to get back to that 10 rhythm. Eight. Oh my wow. What, what's going on? What's going on is the pressure of a bronze medal at the Mexico City 2017 Hyundai World Archery Championships. Vanessa, could the wheels be falling off Chinese Taipei in this set? All they need is a tie. Oh, oh my oh. The crowd. The ten. OK, so here's the deal. A 10 wins it, all right? Even with the scores we've seen, a 10, because a 10 would tie and they would split. So all the pressure is on right now. It comes down they want to close down this bronze medal. Oh! oh! Just a millimeter oh or goodness. two, if you can believe so that. So close. And that is archery at its finest. So a millimeter or two difference in that target at 70 meters away. I mean, think about that, Vanessa. Different anchor point, a little bit of pressure in the wrist. Anything could happen to make up that millimeter and they're walking away with bronze. And now the door's been kicked open for China to claw back into this thing. I'm sure China is having big size of relief right now. And they're gonna start uh, getting some momentum here, hopefully. Who would have ever been able to predict that Chinese Taipei in set number two shoots a 58? 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 9. They come back with a 51. Three nines, three eights. I mean, could this be the momentum swing that China needs? How, how big would it be if they could come back with a 4-0 deficit that they had and the way they've been shooting it would to be win huge. a bronze medal? It would be huge, but it just, it's just so exciting because, you know, they can shoot a 54 or 51 in the first two and uh, Chinese Taipei shoots a 57, 58. They forget those arrows. You start completely yeah, fresh right. yeah, on a new so, end. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's the good thing about set scoring system. I wonder if Chinese Taipei started thinking about their bronze. That's, that would be my guess, but so what close. do I know? Let's see what happens. My blood is pumping light right, right? now. Right, <laughs> exactly. Hearts pumping, goosebumps yeah. all around. This crowd is responding. Mm -hmm. It's a packed stadium here. One thing I want you to take notice of is China now has some smiles on their faces instead of grimaces. You know, they know what's at stake and that's the difference. Look at Chinese Taipei now. Right, exactly. A little long in the face. It's that momentum swing, it's that attitude. It's got to keep that energy up. And that's where a good team with good communication and keeping it light really helps. They're going to all have to focus on the process here, not the outcome. Yep. They can focus on what they're doing. The arrows are going to go in the middle. It's right. okay. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Let's see how their teammates respond. It's funny because when we're sitting here looking at the score, like, oh, but we don't know what Chinese Taipei is going to do. There we go, in the gold, oh all right? All on the left. I know, all on the left. I'm sure they've been making set adjustments. You see another one right there, but... You know, yesterday in compound bad. shooting, the one thing that Steve Anderson, who shot this field early on in the day yesterday, said is that it's very deceiving. It's good nine. Right. One of the few we've seen to the right. But the way that this venue is set up, it's very deceiving because the stands are a lot closer than some of the other venues. And so it, it makes the target look a little bit different in terms of the distance. It makes the target look closer. Oh, really? Yeah. It could just go. Eight. The medal could go to the team that can adjust to the conditions quicker than the other team. Yeah. Could be just that. Could be just that. Windsock barely moving. There is a little bit of a right to left breeze. Eight. Oh, oh my goodness, tied. Wow. Wow. Chinese Taipei only needs to tie this set. That's all they need. <laughs> it is coming down to it for the bronze medal in women's mixed or women's team competition. Ten. That looks like a 10. Now that is just applying the pressure to Chinese Taipei. Got a nine liner. Okay, so the nine asterisks, that's the first time we've seen it so far. 
That's going to be a question mark. It'll be judged by a judge. Oh, oh my goodness. No question about that one. Right in Fantastic the middle. Shot. Right in the X ring. They're definitely putting the pressure on Chinese Taipei right now. I mean, that, that nine asterisks looks like a 10 to me, but World Archery judges will see it when this is over. Oh, no. Up in the eight room. Eight high, but a 52. So interesting from China 54, 51, 52, 52. The team trending downward in this one is definitely Chinese Taipei. There's an answer nice. with a 10. Fantastic. And these archers do have, you can see, out of the front of that bow, that is a sight with a, a pin or a scope. No lenses allowed, no magnification. Ten. Nice shot. <laughs> Unbelievable. All they need is an eight here. That liner is going to make the difference. You know, what you want to do is shoot a nine or a 10. Just, just shoot a 10 and you know you have yeah. it. It doesn't matter what that score is going to be after the judge looks at it. Quick release. Yes, wow. Oh my gosh, bronze. How about oh, Chinese that? Tai oh. Chinese Taipei answers with three tens, a 30 in the back half of this set, and they will take it six to two over China and wrap up the bronze medal in what ended up being a heart pounder towards the end of this one. They opened up the door for China in the middle there, but they definitely closed it at the end. Lin Yu Swin, Lin Shi Chia, and Tan Ya Ting will get to stand on the podium a little bit later on this morning. Into the afternoon, actually the early afternoon, with a great display of archery. So they opened up with a 57 to take the first two points over China. Then a 58, 410 shot in that one. And then let's just call it a bit of a stumble. A little bit. A little bit a little of a bit. stumble with a 51, and they came back with a